if your computer is really slow and things are kind of not working and the whole door is kind of going like uh, 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 uh. Hi, 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 and welcome to Elena Does Audio Stuff. And in, in this video, I will just show a really quick uh, tip and trick how to um, uh, solve the problems with latency. And if you haven't looked at yet and you're just beginner for recording, then go and look at my video where I explain all the different gear you need to start recording and production in your own little home studio. So go and have a look at it. I'm gonna link it down below and over here and just go and have a look at it. Now I will tell you how to prevent latency. So there's a couple of main things that make latency better. So it's the buffer size in your door as well as CPU. So CPU, what it means, it means central processing unit. And what it does basically it just process all the data on your computer. CPU overload is that if it processes too much, much and then it just a cable is like no 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 I can't do it anymore I can't do it anymore. and it just heats up and then it just and everything is blows and nothing works and everything is crap and then you bang your computer to the wall because you're so mad because nothing works so uh, to prevent that and what you need to do is just shut down everything else just so you have only door running. Uh, also what affects apparently to CPU is you have too much information on your desktop, too many files, too much data on your uh, documents files and everywhere. Just clear everything up, empty the bin, just make as much a space on your laptop as possible. And also I what I usually do is that I keep a lot of my information in external hard drives. So that just frees so much space on my computer it prevents the fact that CPU is much lower percentage. On Ableton Live you can see the percentage on the top right corner and it just kind of goes between five to what like sometimes 50, 100 and you don't want to go that far. You, where you want to keep is under 10%. Also the next one is that you go to uh, your audio settings and you go and check your buffer size. So when you're recording you want to keep the buffer size as low as possible. You will see how much, how low you can go. So example I usually go like around 100 to 200 to 500 when I'm recording so that the latency is as small as possible. What lower you go the more uh, CPU it uses. So then basically it just kind of goes and about like ah, 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 ah. again if you know what I mean, like, uh, uh, you know, like when computer kind of goes like, and then when you're mixing, it's okay, you can just kind of keep it on a higher, higher buffer size so that everything's kind of more clear and smooth and works well. So when you're recording lower, when you're mixing, it can be higher. Go to check your CPU and buffer size. Let me know if there's any uh, more questions about audio. If something doesn't work, let me help you and I'm going to make you videos about it. And also just like this video. Uh, you can also share it if you like. And also subscribe my channel and I will see you next time.